now in this how to we are going to learn how to display mouse over effect on grid view rows using css mouse over effect is very very useful in case you have large number of records to display on the page and you have a lot many columns to display so let me show you that so uh, in the example so that it will be very clear that you know how to work with how to display mouse over effect and what is the benefit of it so for that let me create one aspx page and on that aspx page we are going to place some css code as well as uh, the grid view so here you can see that i have a css style and that css style is basically grid view 1.tr dot row over and then hover i'm going to explain that what 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 it is doing and then let me copy paste the code behind a uh, code here as well so this is my code behind you can see i'm going to explain each and every line of the code from the code behind so if you're not understanding do not worry about it and uh, i think we are almost done let me just rectify some of the bugs that was here yes this is done and this is done so both are done let me align it so that it will look nice yes now in the code behind file what we have is that the first line of code is basically a page level variable that basically retrieves the database connection string from the web.config file you can see that this constr is in, being retrieved here using the configuration manager object that exists into system.configuration namespace and if the page will be loaded for the first time then we are going to uh, uh, f uh, call the get data method and in that method basically what we are doing is that we, we are using simple adio.net uh, to retrieve the data from the personal little table and filling into the uh, data table object and that data table object is basically being populated into the grid view and then data bind method is being called that will actually bind the data to the grid view that's it now the magic that happens that will basically show you the mouse over effect that happens because of this css uh, style css style now in this uh, grid view what we have done is we have written row style dash css class is equal to row hover row hover is nothing but my class that will only effect for the data table whose id is grid view one and it will only effect for those element of grid of that data table that is of tr type and when we are hovering the mouse over it so let me run this page and you will be able to understand how it is working now here you can see that as soon as i will mouse over you you, you are saying that it is it, it is displaying me the mouse over effect and it is changing the background color to yellow this background color to yellow is changing because i have a spe specified background color as yellow if i will specify background color as green then we will see that now it will come as green you can see that now it is coming as green so now let us go ahead and see the source code of this particular page so let me show you the source code and uh, then you will be able to correspond the css style here you can see that the table id is grid view grid view and for every tr you can see that for every tr we are writing row hover means row over but this row this css class one will only take take effect when you will mouse hover that's why this hover filtration is there so that's why what is happening is that by default nothing is coming here but as soon as i will mouse over on, on the row then this css style will take effect and you will be able to see the mouse over effect now the next how to is related with creating the primary key value from the grid view rows so this is how to get the primary key value of the grid view rows in javascript this is basically useful when you want to show any pop up or you want to open any pop up and you want to display uh, display uh, some uh, some uh, related record into that pop up page so for that naturally you need some kind of primary key so that you can pass that primary key to the pop up page and you can retrieve uh, that primary key into the pop up page and retrieve the data from the database so we are going to see how to do that so for, uh, for to do that first what we are doing is that we are going to first uh, uh, frame our aspx page so here is my aspx code 
and let me copy uh, some more because it looks like there is some more code here in the ASPX page yes let us format it so that it will look nice okay now let me explain the code of this ASPX page here we have simply one gate view and what we are doing is that he here what we are doing is that we are keeping one extra template field and that template field header is details and under that item template we are keeping one anchor tag HTML anchor tag and on click of the anchor tag we are basically calling one uh, JavaScript function called open popup and in this open open popup we are uh, passing the auto ID value of that particular record so when this uh, link will be clicked the anchor tag uh, uh, the, the hyperlink will be clicked what happens is that oh, this open popup uh, JavaScript function fires and first it will give you the alert and then what it does is that it it opens a popup and in that popup it will open basically dummy page dot aspx and pass auto id as the parameter and the popup width and height will be 300 and 200 respectively okay fine now let me some copy paste the code behind uh, uh, code as well so here is my server side code and just interchangeably i am using code behind and server side so you should understand that when i'm saying saying code behind it is the server side code basically so yes and now let us align this code okay now here what we are doing is that first as I explained many times we have the database connection string and then when the page will be loaded for the first time then we are calling the get data method and in this get data method we are using the edu.net to retrieve the data from the database and populating into the gate view now when I'm running this page you can see that I will have the gate view with column as the details also so yes you can see that column is the as details also and when I will click what will happen is that it will op uh, give one auto ID as the alert you can see that this auto ID is the alert it is giving and then it will execute this window dot open that will basically open a pop-up window here it is opening a pop-up window but because dummy page dot aspx doesn't exist so that's why it is throwing error so let us create one dummy page dot aspx so here I'm going to create one dummy page my page dot aspx yes and then now because we are passing here uh, auto id as the parameter so let me retrieve that auto id here uh, response dot write request dot query string uh, auto id so this would basically write the auto id value so now let me close this and let me click it again so auto id value is 10 so i should be getting 10 on the page you can see that so it looks like there is some more problem hold on yes this error was because i have not formed my code correctly now let me close uh, this uh, pop-up again and let me click uh, the details link again you can see that now we are going 10, getting 10 here because that's what the auto id is being passed you can see here auto id is being passed as 10 now let me click this 5 you can see that I am getting 5 so this is the way to basically <coughs> access the uh, the auto id or the primary key value in the javascript here you can see that I am accessing into the javascript and I am also able to pass to the pop-up page <coughs> as you can see here